Hello, it's Sarah. Um, I have a short haul video, but I also wanted to share this flip book that I received. This is from Audrey. Um, she's Windy Days on YouTube. And thank you, Audrey, so much. I've had it, I, I've had it for like a week at least, and I should have done a share sooner, or I'm, and I'm hoping to send you a card and a thank you very soon. But this is super cute, and I wanted to just show you how gorgeous Audrey's work is. Um, I have not been paper crafting, so I haven't done any of the flip books. But look at this, she's got a doily stuck in there. She's great, like see that's the thing, the layering and all that. But then you open it up, and there's a little tuck spot in here. And there's little goodies, nope, there's just a couple, yeah, like little washies on and three little clothes pins on little die cut mason jars in a bag. And this is, she said, to document my summer. So, but look at these tags. Again, they're just all layered, super cute. They match. And this one has the lace again and the wood findings. Simple, no, um, no, what's it called? Inking of the edges, just the paper is doing the talking. But look at these. The butterflies with the epoxy hearts. So, so simple, but yet a little tuck spot, right? Then watch when you open this up. You got a whole nother section over here. Another tuck spot. Some little tags hanging in the shade, and it's hot. So this is this is a definitely a summer um, paper kit. And what's in here? some twine. Very, very pretty. This reminds me of, I want to say a name of a, of a paper line, but I'm not positive. These little epoxy hearts are super cute, but watch this. Ta-da! Look at that! I just love that. These little tags are on like a clothesline, and they're just there's just twine up here with little stars glued on, and the little paper clips, I mean, I mean not paper clips, clothes pins, right? Did I call them paper clips? Ugh, ugh, my brain. So this is super cute, Audrey. I just love it. And then there's another little flip spot with the doily again and the epoxy hearts. A little bird. I love the use of wood veneers. Like this is so, so cute. And just three more tags. Just layered with the paper line, some washi that matches. The washi totally matches treasure discover and inspire so cute but what this was just so cute the little clothesline oh my gosh thank you Audrey and she sent me a lovely little note handmade by Audrey um, thank thank you so much Audrey and I will be sending you a lovely little note myself all right I just wanted to share that then <coughs> today I went you guys have all been posting your Michaels, uh, what is it, 70% off they're doing? So I had to go have a look, and I didn't get very much, but I ended up getting an extruder. Um, if you guys haven't checked her out, ooh, 50% off coupon. What was I going to use for that? I forget, because I did use a 40% off coupon. Um, for this, but this is like 30 bucks. Let's see. Yeah, regularly 30. I got $12 off. So I paid 17, $18, which I mean, that's worth it. That's not bad. This is a, like a more of a piece of equipment type thing and it's for claying and Gail is, um, the enabler. No, <laughs> um, it's just one thing for clay that I've not got yet. Not, I haven't, I hadn't purchased previously um, an extruder it's like a little it pushes the clay out and you get all these dies with it so look you get shapes lots of all the different sizes of circles hexagons like six let's see one two three there's seven there so I have to start watching some videos about extruders but the main thing I wanted to do is Gail just Gail Thompson. I'm pretty sure it's Thompson. I'll put the link in the description box. Gail is one of my subscribers, and 
she's a, been a, a lifetime clayer. She's done clay all her life and so she was intrigued when I started using the clay to do clay tiles and the mixed media because that's how I was introduced to clay was through mixed media and embedding things in the clay and all that. So I've never really done caning or using anything like this or making veneers so um, I still have a ton to learn. Um, that's why when I did Polymer Clay Adventure, um, I really enjoyed it. And I already told you guys, I think next year I'm going to do it again. This year I'm doing Lifebook, and I haven't been <laughs> making, or I've I got to catch up. I've did a, done a lot of the projects, but I still need to catch up. Um, that's more of art journaling, like journaling. Um, but look at this. I just love... See, this polymer clay is, it's just the way they mix it. Um, there's Skinner blends. There's so much about polymer clay that I still have to discover. And um, so anyway, <laughs> Gail is making videos now. So yeah, I'm going to put the link to her channel in the description box. And um, she is now sharing all of her knowledge with everyone on YouTube. So I'm so happy that she's there and um, Gail, thank you for all your input with me. Um, so yes, I got this extruder and I'm going to make a cane that Gail shared with us um, using it. And I don't know, I mean this one's by Walnut Hollow and this is just the because it's the only one they had at Michael's but I thought it was pretty cool. It has this case so I can hold everything all in one spot. It seems pretty heavy duty, and I liked it because it had this crank. It has an actual crank that you use to push the clay through. So I'm hoping it's not too cheesy, we'll see. And I thought, because I, I'm not probably gonna use it a ton. Hopefully I will, hopefully I'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, but I thought it was somewhere to start. Always use your coupon. Oopsie, I'm taking it apart. But basically, you would put the clay in there, and then you push it through. So, just got to make sure I'm cranking it the right way. I'll practice before I come on and show you guys. I'm going to watch a lot more videos and um, practice before I use it. But... Um, so I, I wanted to get that. So I figured I was out and about this morning. And um, so I just ran in Michael's. And like I said, you guys have been sharing all of your 70% off finds. And so uh, where does this one go? I don't know. Is there an empty space that I'm missing? No, I don't see it. Um, sorry. I can't, I can't think what I'm doing if I, okay. Um, so I wanted to just go have a look. I haven't been buying, as you know, I've, well, I've been buying fabric, so I lied. Um, but I've been buying fabric, basically that's it. I really haven't been buying any paper crafting. I'm, I'm probably thinking I'm going to do a de-stash eventually, because I'm thinking about moving, uh, one of my big cubbies that's over there, upstairs, to use as a, um, a sewing space. We have a spare bedroom and I uh, I think I could make that into a sewing space without taking over my dining room. So this, look at these. These weren't 75 or 70% 70 off, but look, they're, they're little like trinket trays, but I thought, oh my gosh, and I think I should go buy more of these. These are adorable. I actually hadn't seen any of anyone sharing these in their videos, but they happen to make them facing both ways. So you see what I mean? So there's two wings. You could do them outwards like that, but I think I like them like this. Right? So I got two sets of those in the gold. I think they had white as well um, and I'm thinking you know so then I got this these are and I shared previously I'm gonna just walk over and get 
I don't think these were 50%, I'm sorry, 70% off at the time. But they were definitely on clearance. I think, I want to say they were 50% off. I don't think they were 70. Um, but this was all they had. This is the Make Market. And I shared these in a different video. They're called Art Wood Cradle Boards. When I took Lori Micah's class, who she's um, the Mixed Media Mosaics lady, she wanted us to have something like this. I don't know if she called it a cradle board. I forget because they do make them. Uh, it's I think they're in the uh, canvas aisle or something. But anyway, these went on clearance. So I, this is the big one I got. This is 8x10, 5x7. I got two 5x7s. And then today, the, all they had was these three, and I bought all three, but these were like $1.25. They're four by four. And look, I mean, I could put, I think I want to put, I'm going to make a mosaic, I think, with some dragon's eyes. I've been thinking about it, so I'll show you what I'm thinking. But look, I mean, I could glue them on. I don't know, maybe on, on this size would be better right something like that omg that's cute right i could do like a big face i could do a head or something so i wanted to play with these and kind of come up with some type of a mosaic a clay mosaic so the but these are going to be cute because i also well, let me show you what else i got and then i'll come back to those this this was the only other thing but this was 70 percent off um where's my receipt that i already I don't know where my receipt went. I guess I threw it away already. But this is from the Boho section. It's a roller stamp. Boho boho style. So let me show you. Maybe I can um, stamp it out with uh, ink. But I am planning on using it for polymer clay. I mean, we'll see. I think it was, two, it might have been two something. No, it wouldn't have been. I don't know. But it has interchangeable boho style kind of like stamps that you can interchange. So I have three different ones. I kind of like this one. This one's like a leafy design. They're cool. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. But I I thought polymer clay would be cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna try these with polymer clay first. So that's all I got for the 70% off. Um, they have a lot, but I'm just not going to buy like all the ribbons. Oh my gosh, there's tons of cute ribbon spool things and all types of stuff. But I have ribbon out the wazoo and I'm not, I'm not using it. So I'm going to, I'm not going to buy anymore. Um, but this was cute. I wish they had other, other styles of it. They also had the fabric stamps. They're just like, uh, the boho style fabric stamps, but I just didn't think they would work as well for polymer clay. Um, so I didn't get them. But I think I'm going to come back. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. So yesterday, oh, Ginny's gone. If those of you who saw my video uh, with the dogs, uh, yesterday I mopped my floors, I cleaned my house. She drools a lot, so um, yesterday was so great. We just purged. I vacuumed everything and dusted. Oh, wow. Don't you love that, like, when you just clean and then you can sit and just sit in the clean house for one day because that's all you get because then the kids and whoever comes and mucks it up. Like, Maya will be here tonight. <clears throat> you know, her stuff ends up everywhere. Um, but this is what I was thinking. So I made, let me put this back. I made some... I'm thinking, when I look back to my Chris Capono class, this was, um, now, Clay Lessons, you guys, you're asking about Chris's class for the Dragon's Eye, this class right here. It, Clay Lessons no longer exists. She closed the, the, the website. <laughs> And it's now, she does something different. It's not, she doesn't do as much clay. So Chris will just end up either selling her classes in her Etsy store, or I don't know, but I don't know where this is available now because Clay Lessons doesn't exist anymore. But this was a class 
that I happen to purchase with clay lessons. So I'm sure if you go to her blog, mandarinmoon.com, uh, you'll be able to find out. You can you can probably email her through there. And um, anyway, so I've been. Then I was playing with smaller versions, and just FYI, they have these tins at Michaels in the art. What is the name brand of that? It's Art. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But you know what I'm saying? There's a scrapbooking line that's in the scrapbooking section. And they're making it like they have these tins with little um, flip books inside. Not flip books, but uh, accordion books inside. Anyway, they were. I was tempted. And they're pretty cheap, but I, I have all my, I have them. I have enough. This is what I was getting at. So I took, actually, this was Chris's class for Polymer Clay Adventure last year, 2015. And what I forgot about when I was, when she taught this class was, she uses a base color, pretty much. And this isn't the, the class piece. Anyway, and then she'll just start to add a little bit of another color into her base color so it changes the color a little bit you get variations on the same color it stays in the same palette Do you know what I'm saying where this one I just used all the same color and I think the next one I do I'm gonna change start doing that I'm gonna add a little bit of a different color into the each layer I make so that it's more dimensional even with that with the colors you know let alone um, the texture and um, any mica powders or things that you add to it. Uh, so that's it's on the list, guys. I'm I'm going to be doing it. And so the other day I did sit down. So these were the dragon's eyes that I created for my um, tutorial, and this one's the pendant. So I made this one into a pendant, and so I decided to make a couple that I'm going to do as tiles. So I just wanted to play with it and see if it was possible to do these in a small enough way. So I just grabbed, tried to find as many of the smallest gems that I have. And this is like, there's a small one right there. I did a few different pupils, like this pupil has just a dot in the middle. So he's pinning. If those of you who have birds, you would know that when a bird's eyes pin like that, they're excited and... Maxie used to do that. He was my friend. Um, anyway, so this one is the plainest. It just has a pinning eye, but it's all one color of clay again. They're all different blues. Like this is more of a turquoise, light blue, and dark blue. This is glitter. I think there's glitter in all of them. But look, so here's what... So I'm thinking something like this. Let me go up a little bit more. And I could put, like, this is, this one I added bling to. And I'll play with them, and I'll perfect it. I mean, that's pretty cute. That just has, like, a straight up and down pupil. And then this one I put a cross. That one has a cross in the middle. I don't even know if that type of pupil exists. <laughs> but I put the bling on this one, too. So this is kind of what I, this one was just plain. I didn't have any bling on that. I don't know if I love that one, but I thought these two were super cool, right? So look at that. And then you could just, I could do two eyes or something, right? I don't know. I get it. I get these, these ideas. So look, and then you could put wings, wings on its head. No, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe down here, right? I mean, it's just an abstract piece of art, right? So, I mean, I could even put, put them across the back. You could put them on the side like that if I figure out some way to attach them. Anyway, I want to play with that. <clears throat> I also had, I'm not sure if Mary Ellen gave me these um, skulls a bit ago. I have so many <sighs> charms and jewelry findings. I just, these were actually on my desk. I had these out. I don't know why. They were just randomly sitting in here. And I saw them and I thought, well, let me stick them in clay. Um, so I did. And this is just for Michaels or AC Moore. No, probably Michaels. 
and they're all little three-dimensional skull charms though see how they're like hollow in the back and all I did is break off the clasp or whatever that thing is called the bail and I embedded them into silver actually this isn't silver it's called uh, white gold glitter and I just put a bunch of skulls and I mean I'm not really into I'm not doom and stuff like that but I do think skulls are cool I kind of like them um, I love gothic stuff uh, I don't know the feel I just like that but like to put those where did I put it now like with the dragon's eye and then I'm gonna like I had these um, angel wings which I definitely want to make a couple of charms angel charms so maybe I'll do a tutorial on that before I start but like I think I'm gonna embed those in clay I just think they're super cool I mean I don't think I could cut these apart but I know they they even sell the wings separately like just one wing but I kind of liked the idea of these just being a long um, a long piece that you could use and so I'm just kind of gathering up little things that I'm thinking yeah that might go together um, we'll see but that's what I think now this is such a small box but I mean maybe if I put three together I don't know I think one is a, it's it would be pretty cool as a work of art and I'm, I would put tiles all around the sides as well so I just like this as a substrate and by substrate that means thing I'm gonna glue stuff to <laughs> but all right I mean that's pretty much it I have a lot I'm feeling like I want to try uh, the sewing is going very well thank you YouTube I love you for for all of your inspiration and uh, Gail thank you as well for now bringing your playing knowledge to us on YouTube and Audrey Audrey thank you thank you so much for thinking of me and taking the time to create this lovely flip book oops this doesn't go there hold on but this is my favorite part I love that part <laughs> I think this goes there yeah all right you guys so that's my share thanks for watching